Hello everybody and welcome along. Today we're going to be reviewing a Sony clock radio, more specifically the XDR C1 DBP. Um, this is one for your bedside cabinet. Um, it's got a USB port to plug your phone to charge it in. Obviously it's got a clock display, digital radio, FM radio, it's got two alarms. Um, I'll show you what's on the box. It's got, it's got lots of pictures of it, all the different features on the bottom there. DAB plus, digital radio, dual alarm mode, USB charging, battery backup if you have power cut, all the kind of specs on the sides. So let's get into the box. Little uh, instruction manual, warranty information. More cardboard packaging, there's the power adapter. Oh, it's all connected to the block. Quite weighty actually, heavier than I expected it would be. That's the box done. Standard UK plug, obviously that will depend on where you are. Nicely wrapped up clock radio. If I can slide this out without too much problem. So to start with, nice long power cable. Um, you won't have any issues getting that where you need to go. Very shiny front there, you can see me in it. Hello. Um, that's the sticker that comes off. All the controls on the top, we'll go through those in a second. But they seem quite solid to the click. Really nice. Speaker on the back. That's where your battery backup is. Also on the back you've got the antenna, maybe this just drops off the back of your uh, bedside cabinet, something like that. Oh, actually, there's buttons on the back as well. Back, menu, enter, and tuning. I guess you don't need to tune it very often. Uh, that's interesting. So, let's get this plugged in and see what it's like. So we see there, when it first plugs in, well, when it first turns on, it scans for digital radio stations. See what you can find. Also sets the time automatically. I guess that's based on the radio as well. Right, so this might be a little tricky to see the screen on the video. I've turned the lights off behind me to get a bit a little less reflection. And um, it's very shiny. Any shiny front. Obviously, when that's in the bedroom, in a dark room, you're probably not even going to notice. And um, the snooze button also doubles as a brightness selector. So that's on the brightest setting. You can turn it down, turn it down, leave more, and then pretty much turn it off. This was a lot, this was a big complaint I had with my other Sony clock radio. Even the dimmest setting was too bright. Now obviously now, I can have it on pretty much almost off and, and completely off, which is really good. Um, when I first turned it on, it set the time and the date from the radio, so that's really easy. I presume that will also automatically set for British summer time and that kind of thing. Most of the buttons are on the top here. You can control alarm A and alarm B. So basically, with alarm A and alarm B, you could have, I don't know, you could have one alarm for weekdays and one alarm for the weekend if you wanted to set the weekend later, or if you needed two alarms on the same day. Or you can just have one that you turn on occasionally for that early start. When the alarm does go off, you can hit the snooze button and that will set you to snooze for five minutes. So I'll just quickly show you what setting an alarm is like. If we say hold down the A button for alarm A, it will allow us to set alarm A. Pops up at the bottom there. So first we set the time that it's going to be set for using the volume at the button and set buttons at the top. So let's say we want it for 7pm. Then when you hit the enter button, which is on the back. Then we set that set the minutes, we'll leave it at zero. Then we set whether it's a weekday or a weekend alarm, we'll call it a weekday alarm, and then we set whether we want digital radio or FM radio or a buzzer, we'll go with digital radio, and then you set what preset you want, so if you've got say radio 1 set to P1, radio 1 will come on, so I then hit enter, and then you set the volume that you wanted to come on at, so say volume 10, and then it's set. Now this alarm will stay in the memory, so you can turn it on by pressing the A button, and of course you can have two alarms set by pressing the B button, so there you have two alarms ready to go. This is a very similar interface to the older Sony clock radio that I reviewed previously on this channel. Check out the link below in the description for that. That's more of a dot that allows you to play your iPod. Don't really need that anymore, so I've gone for a smaller model. 
I can't really show you the audio quality on this. For a start, I'll probably get busted for copyright on the music. Um, secondly, obviously, it varies depending on your speakers at your end, so there's not a lot of point testing it. All I can say is, for a box this size, it's really good quality, quite bassy. Um, obviously, there's only a speaker on the back, and that's only a single speaker, but for an alarm clock, it does a really good job. I'm really impressed. As for the interface when changing a uh, radio station, I'm on Radio X at the moment there, there's a uh, station backwards and forwards tuning there, and all you do is left and right, at the bottom there comes up the different radio stations that it's scanned, it scans automatically scans when you turn it on. So let's say we want heat, sounds good, go to heat, press enter, it tunes in and starts playing. So once you've found a radio station you like, you can hold down one of the preset buttons and that will set that as a preset so you can quickly switch between them. Exactly the same thing applies on the FM radio, hitting the tuning button scans left and right and you can favourite them with the 1 to 5 buttons. On the back you also have a menu button and that allows you to set a few different things, uh, set the clock although that sets automatically from the radio, the time format so if you like it, I don't know, seconds first, same with the date, beeps, you can turn beeps on and off when you press buttons, I've turned it off because it's very annoying and that's it. There is also a display button on the left and that turns the date on and off and if you've got the digital radio on it displays the date instead of the digital radio text. On the bottom left hand side here we've got a USB port allows you to plug in your phone to charge it. So let me just test this with my iPhone cable. So there's one end into the USB port and the other end into the phone. And there it is, charging! So overall guys, would I recommend this alarm clock? I definitely think I would. Um, it's really simple to use, once you get used to the alarms A and B, once you set them for weekdays and weekends you hardly even need to set them again. Um, it's really compact, really solid looking, and the sound is really good quality. If I had any criticisms it would be possibly it's a little bit pricey. This is generally around the £50 mark on Amazon. Check out the links below to see what it is at the moment and see the specs for yourself. Um, also possibly the shiny front might get a bit fingerprinty or track dust because it is shiny and um, I've had that problem with my old alarm clock so nothing new there. So if you have been guys, thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe to be notified of my latest videos. Um, leave me a comment below as well if you've got this alarm clock, if you've got any criticisms of it. I'm sure everyone would like to know that will be watching this review and I will see you in the next video.